Recently, I was able to pick up this bad boy right here. It's a 600 pound blast pot. My thought with this is that I'm gonna build a blast trailer with the compressor, blast pot, and uh, all the paint equipment I need to be able to go work at client locations, uh, doing industrial paint jobs and stuff like that. Uh, it's gonna be a mobile blast rig. And yesterday, I actually picked up a 16 foot trailer that I'm gonna use as the blast rig itself. My idea is to put that blast pot on there, mount it, and also get a 185 compressor mounted on there as well with some toolboxes where I can have my paint pots and uh, paint guns, hoses, tools like that. This is the trailer right here. Uh, this is the new asset to the company. Hopefully I can get this uh, ready to go pretty soon. I don't want to spend too much time uh, waiting for that. To the happen. idea was that the business name was always going to be Versatile Coats and Industrial was always a part of it. So given that has to be part of the, the services that I offer. So I'm excited for that and I'm excited to get more equipment pretty soon. I'm gonna go ahead and spend a day cleaning up my paint booth. A couple of videos ago, I actually came in here and sprayed it. That material I used, uh, I think it was called boot coat. So I'm starting to have it delaminate and crack off the surface. So before that ends up falling into one of my paint jobs and making a bigger mess than it should, I'm gonna go ahead and scrape that off and probably pressure wash it. Well, that's the aftermath right there. It appears that when it was previously coated, by the gentleman that had it before me, he actually coated over the galvanized. So I'm assuming that's why the paint was peeling off, that galvanized layer was rejecting the paint. At this point, the walls haven't started delaminating yet. Uh, maybe the walls had a coating underneath. It might look like it does. Um, so for right now, I'm not gonna worry about the walls. I'm not gonna create more work than I need to. I'm only gonna focus on the ceiling right now. Uh, right now, this is where I'm at with it. Um, it was a ton of work yesterday, but I really did not want that stuff to land in my paint job. We'll get this cleaned up, get the stuff thrown in the trash, clean the booth out, because I got a Mustang that I'm fixing to jump on, so uh, let's get this knocked out. Look what came in the mail for me yesterday. This is actually my Iwata WS400. I got it used. I actually bought it off of uh, ET Refinishes uh, on Instagram. You can find the link to him down below. He posted it the other day for sale, and I decided I was going to go ahead and, and pick it up. Uh, so I reached out to him, and we were able to cut a deal. And uh, super excited about it. Let's see what he put in here. Oh, man. Comes in a box, which he sent me pictures of everything before he shipped it, just so I could be, you have some peace of mind and stuff. He did include an Iwata gauge, which is awesome. Thank you, ET, for that. Evan, appreciate you, man. Also, a PPS adapter. But here it is right here. It feels great in the hand. Now, if you remember a couple of videos ago, I actually picked up the LPH 400. I do love that gun, but I, I felt like I needed something to add to my arsenal. So I did pick this up. Now, th this is a 1.4 HD tip. I do spray a lot of Euro clear, a lot of high solids clear. So what I'm thinking, I'm gonna see how this sprays the Euro clear. If I like the way it sprays, I'm gonna leave my LPH 400 basically just as a base coat gun. And I'm gonna use this strictly as a clear coat gun. I'm gonna try it, I'm gonna see what it sprays like, and then I'll go from because there. Because whatever gun I decide to leave as my clear gun, I want it to be strictly clear. I don't want no paint, no base coat, no metallics, nothing hitting it. It's gonna be strictly clear. Ergonomics on there is fantastic. And I mean, you can see it here. Let me see if it'll focus right here. Look at that. This is beautiful, man. This is just a gorgeous it is the gun. Evo, uh, but this is my first Supernova. I'm excited. I can't wait to put it through its paces, and I'm forever grateful. Evan, thank you so much for working with me on the price, man. I appreciate you, so let's put this thing to work.